Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is on my reverse osmosis systems, making a vibrating noise. Hi folks, uh, so I thought I'd make a video what I learned with my uh, reverse osmosis system. It's caused me a lot of headache in particular. So in troubleshooting and understanding how everything really works. So maybe this one will help somebody out. So if you watch this video and it help you, please help me with a thumbs up as well. So this thing is vibrating really bad and trying to figure out why. So we did change the filters, by the way. So let's start with the tank in particular, right? So the tank is very easy to check the pressure, by the way, for all those folks that never check the pressure of their tank. So all you need is loosen this knob over here. It'll come off and you can use any gauge in particular to, you know, tire gauge, for example, like this one over here to check the, the pressure. So simple as that. So, or you can actually use a tire inflator that has a gauge into it, like this one in particular, right? So that's simple to do, just connect it. So I did this just to prove that the pressure is really hitting the, the tank in particular. So when you do is, um, Put this over here and if you have this inflator you just twist the knob over here so you should just twist thing and turn it on and you can see the pressure so simple as that so all you need to do is press that so once you see that you also notice that the pressure is actually gradually increasing which is really a bad thing in particular so the tank is getting a lot of pressure and it goes to really high it actually hit around uh, 30 something as i see so i'm going to show you okay first of all the vibrations at our reverse osmosis system as we have isolated, right? And what we have found also at the same time is the pressure at the tank is very high. The tank should be around uh, 5 to 7 uh, PSI, and we're getting a reading around 25 or so, right? So as I shown earlier, uh, as we go back to the reverse osmosis system after spending some time in this, and, uh, you know, contemplating what is could be wrong right yes we changed the filter a while and you know it's still having a problem it, this last time we didn't change the filter but we all get this vibrating noise problem right and it's at the reverse osmosis system now we know why i'm going to show you what i learned um before i tell you about how it's supposed to be the problem is actually over here so this is the auto shut off on the membrane and that's a very important valve so not only uh, that it shuts off the, the tank, getting more water to the tank. It shuts off getting more water, period, right? Everything is working fine, right? So that's very important, right? So what happened is like um, when the tubing and the filters were changed, everything got taken out. Unfortunately, it was not connected right. So this one over here got mixed up with this one over here. So that's what happened. You know, that's the story in short. So... If you're looking for that info, that's your answer. So I'm going to tell you how our system is supposed to be as I learn and spending some time on this. So maybe I help somebody out there that running this same headache as I did. Okay. So our system um, has this wet tubing. Wet tubing goes in. All right. Then you have the sediment filter, right? That's one over here. Uh, then you've got the carbon one over here and then the carbon one over here. At the same time, you know, after all those, this thing exits, right, from the last carbon one and goes out. So this one goes out. You could trace it over here, and it goes to the membrane. So what happened before is that it didn't go to the membrane because it just totally bypassed the membrane. That's why we're getting the vibrating. So the membrane is a very important feature of this reverse osmosis system. So that goes out over here. And if you have everything right, you got enough, everything, this is a shut off, right? So that needs to work. There are replacement parts uh, for the shut off. And I'll post the link there if you're having that problem. It could be this issue in particular, or it could be a, a connection issue, which is in my case, right? So my auto shut off wasn't the issue. It was, uh, you know, a tubing problem. So, you know, connection problem, right? But if this thing were to break, or get damaged over time, you're also gonna have a similar situation where the vibration happens, right? So when this thing exits, you can see over here, 
follow the the path. Okay, and comes out, and you notice that this is our chlorine um, filter, right? So it goes out to the blue. You know, if you get in the blue over here, it goes to our nice little faucet over here, drinking water, right? So the taste, right? And this one is actually our uh, fridge. So we have one going to the fridge as well. So we have to run it under the the cabinets and such, right? So All right. So it will go to the yellow line if you're not taking it from the chlorine one. So the yellow one, where's it go, right? So it's feeding the tank, all right? So it's feeding the tank with the right amount of uh, water, right? So you could check the pressure on the tank and the reverse osmosis system actually has a higher pressure than the tank, of course, right? So, you know, keep that in mind, all right? So everything works, right? If you were to change the the pressure on the tank, for example, you make sure you shut off everything. So this is my shut off valve. Right now, you can see it's going down, it's pointing downward. The red one, so that's going to my reverse osmosis system. So if you want to shut it down or something, just like this, right? That would shut it down. So, all right, and you also at the same time uh, want to open the tap over there and get all the water out. And if you want to check the pressure correctly and set the pressure correctly on your tank. So that's a different uh, issue if that's the case. And if you don't get good pressure out of the tank, of course, your pressure may be very low in the tank. That's what I also learned. But our pressure is really high. So that was not the issue. And I appreciate other people sharing the knowledge on this thing right here. So this one is the major pain that we went through a while to figure out. And once again, so make sure your membrane is correct. Possible issues with vibration and pressure is basically this auto shut off. Okay. So this is a very important one, right? At the same time, I do want to emphasize that uh, you also have this one coming out of the last uh, carbon filter. So don't get these two mixed up. All right. So you might want to label them if possible. And, you know, so that to avoid that issue. So if you have everything set up, that's how the paths also work. Uh, this one leads out, all right? It goes out. So this is the last exit point for the membrane, right? So hopefully this video was helpful. I really appreciate a thumbs up and I see you next time. Have a good one.